Hello everyone and welcome back to Quickfire Reds. Today is all about Jorgen Norbert Klopp and on the 8th of October 2015 Jorgen Klopp was announced as Liverpool manager um, after they had let go of Brendan Rodgers following the derby against Everton at Goodison Park. A one-all draw I remember, if I remember right, I think Danny Ewing scored. But nowadays we talk about, you know, Players coming in, players coming out, who'd be a great signing? You know, our last video was about Jaden Sancho and Deo Upamecano. I'm still struggling with that name. But this is the biggest signing of them all, Jurgen Klopp, for me. Um, so excited in 2015 when it was forced, you know, rumours that he was going to take the job. You know, he'd been at Dortmund for seven years. He'd gone away. He was taking a break from football. People thought, no, you won't get Jurgen Klopp. He's only, he only finished up in, in the May. I think, or the June with Borussia Dortmund, and you thought, no, it's too early. You know, this is October. You're only giving him what four months off. He's not going to do it. Now, as transpires, I think his, his wife played a big part in in him taking the Liverpool job because, you know, he was keeping his word to her and the family that he was going to take a year off. But Liverpool came calling, and and it's the biggest thing even FSG have done at this club for me. You know, taking over the club when it was when it was on its knees um, and hours away from the administration in 2010 is huge building the main stand is huge you know the building of the new training complex now is huge and the players they've signed and the people they've brought into the club has been big but nothing compares to this to this man and what and how they got him um he arrived he arrives at anfield in october 2015 and he straight away he's so positive he's so eager to not only put liverpool back where he believes that they should be but he's He's also very determined to strip away the baggage of the past, and it's a massive thing for him. You know, the whole doubters to believers thing is a famous line now, but you can when you see what he's achieved at Liverpool, um, it rings true. It really does, um, right up until this day, and will do for for many years to come. But he takes on a squad that was good. It was a decent squad. It needed it needed changing around, and you look at the changes it, it's had um, since that first game away at Sports. Um, when we were quite impressive, you know, Adam Lallana absolutely running around like a lunatic and crawled off the pitch, I think, with about 10 minutes to go. But when you look at the additions he's made, um, they've been very clever. He's worked with a team, including Michael Edwards, his backroom staff, to put together a squad now that's probably the best Liverpool I've ever seen, in fairness. Um, he's I, I, It's very hard to put into words what Jurgen Klopp means to Liverpool Football Club, in my opinion. He has done... Everything and more, I think, that he that he talked about. You know, he there was a famous line where he said, I think if I'm here in four years, we win one title. You know, um, he's won a European Cup. He's won a, he's won a, a Premier League title. And he's going to go and have another go at them. Um, both of those over the next couple of years. But the squad he's built, the, the, the backroom staff he's built, the, the mentality that's there. You know, if you look at all these... If you look at all these documentaries following the league win and all the backroom staff and how highly they talk of each other, the mentality you need, the the the, the outlook you need to have to be successful at Liverpool, that's down to Jurgen Klopp. You know he's instilled this in the club from the top to bottom, and it's it's absolutely amazing. You know, um, he's he's so good with the fans. He he relates so well to fans. He relates so well to the media. You know, I think a small section of media don't like him because he's so likable, and. He's just everything you would want from a Liverpool manager. There was some doubt, um, I suppose, early this year when will he sign a deal, will he not sign a deal. There was rumours going around that he'd said that he'd like to manage Germany and stuff like that. But he signed a deal and he is with Liverpool until 2024, which is great news. Um, time flies when you're having fun. That's a saying that you'll see a lot. I hope this time drags, but I hope it's really fun at the same time because if Jurgen Klopp is leaving Liverpool, you know, if Jurgen Klopp is leaving Liverpool in 2024, I don't want 2024 to come, to be honest with you. I'd love to see him, you know, in that time win another one or two Premier League titles, another European Cup, because if he walks away from this club with three Premier League titles and two European Cups, it's it's the best you've seen since Paisley. It really is, and it puts him up there. And the, he's he's up there already as one of the absolute greats of Liverpool Football Club for me because what he's built. But if he goes and does something like that, um, you know, he'd be looking at 
if he if he was to go ten years, nine years at Liverpool with with three Premier League titles and two European Cups after what would after what he inherited and, and what state the club were in and where what he had to go from and what he's brought it to, I think it's an, an amazing achievement. Let's hope he signs another deal and let's hope I'm sitting here in another five years' time um, celebrating 10 years of Jurgen Klopp because, for me, he's the biggest signing Liverpool have possibly ever made. Possibly ever, ever made. Um, because of circumstance, influence, the turnaround and just the feel around the club um, since he's arrived and it's just got better and better and better. So, Jurgen, um, five years... Absolutely unbelievable. Here's to four more, at least. If you feel like signing a new contract and you need a lend of a pen, you know where I am. Over and out.